over to uh, Kelly Schultz. She was the Republican candidate endorsed by Governor Larry Hogan. Adam Longo has been there all evening long, and for the longest time, they were holding on to hope that it would be them with the winning night. Right, and, and they've come away from this evening, Leslie, not thinking that this is over, thinking that there are still a number of votes to be counted. Now, listen, I want to run you through some numbers real quick, because I think this is going to put where we stand right now, a snapshot at 11 p.m., perfectly succinct. Okay, so Kelly Schulz is behind right now in both early voting numbers and the in-person voting numbers today by about 32,000 votes. There are about 25% of precincts still yet to be counted that are outstanding tonight. This is numbers that we've got straight from the Maryland Board of Elections. So now that would put a total number of votes tonight at about 190,000 between those two candidates. There are more than 212,000 ballots outstanding that were done by mail-in and absentee ballots. And those are not going to be counted until beginning on Thursday. So when I asked the staff. Hey, how do you leave this night? I mean, she didn't concede. She didn't declare victory. She just said that there's still a lot of counting to be done. They said that they are going to be moving forward after tonight optimistically, and they believe, a spokesperson for the campaign tells me, that those mail-in and absentee ballots will break for them by a rate of two for one. So they still think that they are in this race. Now, Kelly Scholl is addressing her supporters here about 1030 tonight, so about a half an hour ago. And during her speech, making a not so subtle dig at her Republican opponent, Dan Cox. Listen to this. Most importantly, we never, ever lied to our supporters. We never told them things that were not true. We respected them. So there was a lot of money that was poured into this race, upwards of $2 million by the Democratic Governors Association. They put out uh, ads uh, tying Dan Cox to Donald Trump, uh, Kelly Scholes and Hogan, those campaigns coming forward and saying that they didn't think it was fair for them to do that, to try to insert their politics into the GOP primary. The Democratic governor saying that they just wanted a leg up on the competition getting into the general election. But Dan Cox is the candidate that the Democrats prefer going into this because they think he makes a more appetizing target, so to speak, than Kelly Schulz would in trying to flip the, Dem the, the governor's uh, seat here in Maryland from Republican hands to Democratic. Leslie? Yeah, because no Republican can win the state of Maryland without some Democrats and some independents supporting yeah. for sure. All right, Adam.